Hi everybody, how you doing today? I am really good. I am back today with a gigantic empties review video for you. So many things that we have tried from the Dollar Tree. A lot of it I've been throwing away as we've been using like through the holidays. This is just the things that we have used in the last probably week and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and just start showing you and let you know what our opinions are of these items. Our opinions may be different than your opinions. You may love this stuff. We may love this stuff. You may not like this stuff. So, <clears throat> but for a dollar, dollar twenty-five, why not give it a try, right? Our stores around here still have not gone up. It's still a dollar. So I'm kind of curious to see when that all happens, but a lot of good stuff. So I'm just gonna start my conditioner. I call it my conditioner because I love this stuff. I use this all the time. Every once in a while, if, if I actually see something new at the store and I wanna show you, I will use that product as well, but this is my go-to. It's the Salon Selectives. It's the 60% more. I haven't seen these big bottles in the store in the last few weeks. So I'm, I'm always on the lookout for the 60% more. I love this. It's volume and body conditioner. And it says, what does it say? Boost fullness and body. I love this. It works great for me. Love the shampoo as well. So yeah, I finished off a bottle of it and need to restock. I did find a smaller bottle, but I need to find the big ones again. I'm just pulling this stuff out randomly, guys. There's no no method here. This is the Arizona. This is the unsweetened, and it says just tea. It's a 34 fluid ounce bottle. We saw this recently. I showed it in a haul, a couple hauls back, a few hauls back. Hubby really, really enjoys this. Doing low carb, which we were totally off of through the holidays, but he wanted to give this a try and see what he thinks and he enjoyed this i liked it too don't get me wrong i like it too but i don't drink quite as much tea as he does so he really liked this a lot and then we put in our own sweetener in it and we use monk fruit sweetener because that's our favorite doing low carb so yeah we will be picking this up again if we see it and they also have it in sweet tea and i believe sweet with lemon all type of different things but it was the first time we saw the unsweetened Arizona. So definitely try that. Finished off a thing of my laundry, laundry, my dish detergent. This is my favorite. I love it a whole lot. It is the Ajax Ultra and it says triple action and this is the orange scent. I love this, works, works well for me, doesn't dry out my hands, gets the dishes clean. I love this, so I buy it all the time. And I also pick up the lemon scent as well, but I don't know why, typically, because I'm definitely a lemon girl, you guys probably all know that, but I don't know why in the dish soap I always pick up the orange. Not always, but the majority of the time. Love it. I know I dropped something on the floor. Hold on one second while I reach, guys. <clears throat> they had these, and I believe there's another pack in here too. Give me one second while I see if I can get this out without dropping everything on the floor. Yep, there goes that. They had these out recently, these two different flavors of cookies. And it is by the what brand here? Uh, let me see. The Cookie Collection. These were the salted caramel and chocolate cookies with rich salted caramel filling. It's a 5.29 ounce package. And it's kind of like a chocolate chip cookie with the caramel on the inside. And this one is the delicious chocolate cookies with rich cocoa cream filling, and it is a 6.17 ounce package. And you can see it's like the chocolate chip cookies with the, the creamy chocolate center. Hubby really liked this. Me, they were okay. I definitely liked the chocolate one better than the caramel. And he liked them so much that he's picked them up again. So they're good. They're very, very good. And, but he liked them a lot more than I did. But I'm sure that we'll buy them again. They're not bad. What did I drop on the floor? Sorry if I knocked the camera. This basket is so full and I have a bag down here on the floor too. These are the Scrumptious Wafer Rolls and Hazelnut. I just showed these in a haul recently. These are so, so good. If you see them, give them a try. They're delicious. The chocolate ones are good as well. They're just yummy. 
I love this brand, this scrumptious brand of cookies. Everything that we have tried, well, almost everything. But these are so good, the hazelnut. Give them a try. I think I may have even tried them when I was making a video. They're good. I brought a garbage bag up with me. I'm gonna grab this bag off the floor. Finished a box of my tissues. Something stuck in there. Love these, buy them all the time. You get 175 tissues in here. They're the big value brand. These are what we, we pick up every time. I think it's a great deal. They're not hard. They don't have little dusty, flaky stuff. We just like them a lot. This is what we buy unless these aren't there and then we'll pick up a, a different brand. These crackers, guys, these Bonet Originals, oh, they are so good. We keep buying them. I don't know what took us so long to pick these crackers up, but they are good. These also come in a vegetable flavor. They are yummy too. If you see these, don't be afraid to pick them up. They are delicious. The original, they kind of remind me of a very crispy Ritz almost that same flavor, maybe a little bit lighter of a flavor in these. Very crispy, very fresh, so, so good. Um, what's in here? What is this? These seasoned lima beans by Margaret Holmes. Love these, absolutely love them. I love lima beans, I'm a lima bean person. These are seasoned so well, not an overpowering seasoning, but just delicious, easy side with, with your supper. You know, make your, your meat and then have these on the side. Delicious. Almost everything we have tried in this Margaret Holmes brand is good. So don't be afraid to try them. If you're a lima bean person, try these. And it is a 15 ounce can. Hubby finished the thing of the speed stick. This is the sandalwood. Um, what does it say on here? It is a 14. What is it? 14.8 fluid ounce bottle. He really likes this. He's usually the, the buy the body wash that's like the three in one. He keeps buying this. So he must really like it. When, when he goes back and buys something a second and a third and a fourth time, you know it's pretty good. I like the scent of this. He likes the scent of it. It works well. So he keeps picking this up. And that was in the, the sandalwood Sandalwood Smash. He likes it. I'm gonna save those for now. Let me get the rest of the stuff out of here. What is this? This is the Goya chickpeas. And what does it say? How many ounces? 15.5 ounce can. Hubby picks these up quite often and makes his own hummus. He just drains them really well and then puts them in our little grinder and grinds them up and adds some spices and makes his own hummus out of it and it's so good. Goya brand, another brand, brand name, excellent product, so good. These guys, if you see these in your stores, pick them up. These are the Sanders Milk Chocolate Sea Salt Caramels. It's a 2.5 ounce. I can still, there's still salt in there. Oh, are these good guys? You get a nice chunk of the caramel covered in chocolate with the big hunks of sea salt. These were delicious. They also come in dark chocolate coated. We have not tried those yet. I, I haven't even seen these again in the store, but these are yummy, 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 yummy. And it is the Sanders brand. They're delicious. Another thing, it, don't pass on these guys. This is the Imperial Nuts, the sweet and savory bar mix. It's a four ounce, little bag of them. Another delicious product at the Dollar Tree. I didn't know what to expect with these because of all the different flavors mixed up in the same bag, but oh my goodness, you get honey roasted peanuts, smoked flavored almonds, toffee peanuts, pretzels, and spicy peanuts all in the same bag. These are good and they are so good. When we went shopping here a few days ago, Hubby picked up two more bags. So you know they're good when he's rebuying them. Delicious. All right, guys, this um, donut shop, I think they're called Peeps. Original donut shop coffee flavored Peeps. I put them in a baggie because of all the little sugar crystals all over. 
Boy, these, these are interesting. If you want to do like a taste test something with them, go for it. But I will not be buying these again. It was fun to taste it. Interesting. Somebody suggested me put these in my coffee. I may do that or I may put it in a, um, a cup of hot cocoa and see if maybe it um, like gives it kind of a mocha, mocha flavor. But I, I won't be buying these again. But there are, how many peeps do you get in here? Five. So there's four peeps left in here. And if you guys know me, I love peeps. This whole package would have been finished if it was the regular flavor. But there's four left. So they won't get wasted though. I won't just throw them away, but they're interesting. Definitely fun to try it. I showed this in one of my previous hauls. This was the Bolero Glowing Under Eye Cream with Ceramide and Peptide Boost. It was a little tube, squeeze tube. I have been using this every evening. I've been putting it on. I'm really not seeing much of a difference, guys. I've It's probably been a week and a half now that I've been using it daily not really seeing much of a difference so I don't think I would buy this again it feels nice it feels very moisturizing for that aspect of it it's wonderful I love that so you know maybe I would buy it again just for the moisturizing factor but I'm not seeing any difference of you know removing puffiness or fine lines or anything like that but moisture yeah interesting this these were out here. My shirt is doing something really wonky today and it's driving me nuts. This was out probably late summer, early fall. It is the Power Stick for Her Ultra Moisturizing Foot and Heel Cream with Jojoba, if I'm saying that correctly, aloe and shea butter. It's a 4.5 ounce tube. I wouldn't buy this again. Was it horrible? No, but I just, no, I, I couldn't wait to get through this package and I won't throw things away. It's like, I keep using it till it's gone. It's very, very rare that I just throw an item in the trash. I did use it and it, yeah, it's empty. There may be one more little glob in there, but that's about it. It just doesn't do the job for me that I want a foot lotion to do. I wear socks all the time. My house is super dry now in the winter time, so my skin dries out, and I want something that's really gonna moisturize, and this just didn't do it. So I won't be buying that again. Was it horrible? No, but it doesn't do the job for me. Man, which original, we all know what this is. I was gonna make something with a pack of hamburger and decided not to do it, so hubby made some some sloppy joes one day it's man which we all know what this is it's really really good so you can get it at the dollar tree my goodness guys my garbage bag is filling up down here the tasty kitchen tomato soup sweet and, sweet and condensed it's not sweetened condensed it's just condensed it's a 10.7 ounce typical tomato soup can size this is really good we tried it it is very good we will buy this product again it was a newer product in the store unless they changed the label, not quite sure about that, but it's Tasty Kitchen brand. This was really good. We liked it a lot, and we actually did buy another can of it to have replaced the one that we used. So yeah, if you see this, give it a try, and then let me know what you guys think. Finished a thing of my cotton swabs. These are by the Assured brand, 100% pure cotton, and these were, you get 200 in here, and these are the ones with the paper sticks. I always try to buy the ones with the paper sticks, even though you get I think it's like a hundred less. I would rather have the paper sticks than the plastic sticks. Just little things that you can do for, for the earth. That, that's the only real reason. I don't mind these cotton swabs at all. I don't have a problem with these. Even if it's a name brand cotton swab, I still always check the end to make sure there's cotton on it. Every once in a while, you might find one in the, in the package that has a little bit less cotton, but it's very rare. These are great, they work well. We keep buying them. What is this? This is the Campbell's Beef Gravy. Excellent, we love this. They also had it in turkey and chicken, and I believe it's still on the shelves at the store. We stock up on these when we see it because it's so quick and convenient. Of course, homemade gravy is better, but this is pretty dang good, and you can use it with anything. 
So we pick this up all the time. Yum. All right, I had bought all these knives. I think they were Royal Norfolk brand. Yes. The knife works great. If you see these, they came in a package of two. Pick them up. The blade on this works well. They're a nice, sturdy knife. But the reason I'm reviewing it, I wanted to show you. They, they came in the package like this with a nice kind of redwood tone. After going through the dishwasher, all the redwood tone disappeared and it's now just a solid wood handle, which I don't mind. That's fine. I, it doesn't bother me one bit, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of a heads up on that. But I did buy a couple more packages of these because we really do like them. The handle fits nice in your hand. The blade is very nice. It cuts well. So if you see them, pick them up. And they were Royal Norfolk brand, and it was a two-pack. But, yeah, the paint comes off. These, guys. This was a newer product in my store. I don't think that I showed these in a haul. But these are the McCulley's brand. And it is field to table diced hash browns and it's a one pound bag 16 ounces these were good very very good i just fried them up in a little bit of butter browned them well and we actually had the um oh i have it in here we put the swanson's chicken a la king over them quick easy two dollar meal for me and hubby it was so so good they also have these now, and we picked them up. They're in the freezer. They have the french fries, regular french fries, and they also have the steak fries. We have not tried them yet, but they're in the freezer, so I'll probably be giving you a review on those sometime in the future. These were good. If you see this brand, this McCulley's brand, at least the hash browns, they were very, very good. And this, I rave about this all the time. This, this is just old school for me. Grew up on this. It is the Swanson's Chicken a la King made with white and dark chicken meat. It's a 10.5 ounce can. Me and hubby love this stuff. It is so good. You just heat it up, put it over toast, put it over noodles, put it over the hash browns, whatever. It is delicious. Or you can just eat it straight, just like a, a thicker soup. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Try it. Finished a pack of, what is the Ferrero Rocher candies? I didn't think I threw this in there. I'm surprised I haven't pulled out a thousand candy wrappers yet, which I'm sure I will. But this was the little three pack of the Ferrero Rocher. Every Christmas we always buy these. We usually get a bigger box of them. This year we just picked up a couple packs, the, the little three packs. They're so good. They're the little hazelnut candies. I love hazelnut. So finished off those, yum. Finished off the thing of the Kinder Bueno. Guys, do you see the kind of stuff I've been eating for the past month and a half? Oi, these are yummy. Also hazelnut. It's me with the hazelnut. Love it. Yeah, these are hazelnut, right? Or are they? I was thinking they are. It says creamy nut filling, so delicious. Love them. These come in two bars and they're both individually wrapped, so you don't have to eat them both at one time, unless you really want to. What is this? These are the Patterson's shortbread cookies, shortbread fingers, and these say number one brand in Scotland. These were okay. Would I consider them a number one brand of shortbread? Nope, but they're good. They're a great coffee cookie. Nice little size cookies, great for dipping. I don't know if I'd buy them again though but they are good. What is this? Finished off a pack of my napkins, 150 pack. I had bought a pack a while back and they just got so thin. I don't know if they changed how they're making them. We will see. I finished off that, that pack and I'm actually using up a bunch of Christmas napkins right now, but I did buy a new pack and I'm curious to see how they are because if they are still that thin I doubt I'll be buying these anymore because they were thin I mean they were like toilet paper thin and they have never been that way before so Dollar Tree if you're listening which I know you're not but if you are please don't do that please let them nice and thick I never had a problem with these before so 
I don't know what's up with that. Guys, it was my last vanilla softener and I can't find it in my area. Walmart, Dollar Generals, I can't find it. So I'm just gonna keep looking in Dollar Tree again. If you're listening, bring this back to the Dollar Tree. I love this. It's the Suavitel, 45 days of freshness. It says 11 small loads, but I get more than that because you guys all know I don't use much softener, but I love this scent. The vanilla was my favorite. These cookies, these were out here not too long ago in the stores. They were the Pillsbury, Pillsbury, yep. Soft baked cookies, chocolate chip, real chocolate chips in here. I wasn't a big fan of these. Hubby liked them, I wasn't. I thought they had a very strange aftertaste to them. Something about it I didn't like, but hubby did. So, you know, there you go. It's like everybody has different opinions on things, but I personally didn't like these. So it is what it is. Finished off the thing of the Old Orchard Healthy Balance. This is the Cranberry Grape and it's a 64 ounce bottle. We absolutely love the Old Orchard brand. Less, less sugar in these than any other juices. We love them. We buy them all the time. You guys have heard me rave on these for a year now. Love it. If you're a juice person trying to kind of cut back on carbs, give these a try. What was this? This is the Mrs. Freshly's Donut Sticks. You got three donut sticks in here? I'm, I can't even remember how many was in here. If it was two or three. Oh my goodness, are these good. These are delicious, and you can see in the store, in the regular stores, it would be a dollar nineteen in Dollar Tree. It's it's a dollar. I wonder if these. I'm sure they'll stay a dollar, with the price change of a dollar twenty five, because that would be a rip off. But anyway, these are great, Mrs. Freshly's, yum. And these were kind of a donut, kind of a square shaped donut with frosting, the glaze on top, yum yum yum. What is this? Oh, that wasn't for, that was for something else. I may as well show you, but it's not from Dollar Tree. I switched mascaras again. I was wandering the makeup aisle in Walmart and I saw this brand. I'm gonna keep it here and I'm gonna show it to you in a, in a future thing, but it was a silver, <clears throat> silver package container of the mascara. I'm really, really liking this. It is called Bambi Eye. And I got it in the blackest black and it's L'Oreal's mascara. I'm liking this a lot. It's, it just almost makes you look like you have on false eyelashes, but they're nice and thick and lengthening. I really like this, but it's Bambi eye mascara. So I don't know how that got in here. Van Camp's Beanie Weenies original. Hubby had this for lunch the other day. And he said it was really good. I didn't try it, and he did. He liked it a lot, so we picked up a couple more cans to have on hand for when the grandkids come around. He liked it. It's a littler can, and it's a 7.75 ounce, and it's one serving. The whole can is one serving. So you don't get too much in here, but quick little meal for lunch. And it has the, the baked beans and the little weenies chopped up in it. He liked it these. Yum, 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 yum. This is the Nescafe cold brew latte. I like this a lot. I actually picked up a few more and have them down on the shelf. These are good for a quick little cold coffee. Put them in the fridge and you have one on hand. Way cheaper than going through the coffee drive throughs and buying a latte. You can get this for a dollar. This was delicious. It was good. I will buy them again. And I did. My garbage bags, the Good Sense, love them. These are my favorite garbage bags at the Dollar Tree. We don't have a problem with them. But like I said, we don't shove our garbage bags really full. Name brand garbage bags will rip if you put sharp items or you shove it too full. These work well for us. And I always watch for the 14 count instead of the 12. These work great. And these are a lemon scent, but you don't really smell it too much when it's you know once it's out of the, the box it doesn't have an overpowering smell at all it's just a garbage bag but these work great and they're just the kitchen bags tall kitchen bags you get 14 and they're the 13 gallon size which is typical i think for most kitchen garbage cans they work well
that's it guys my dollar tree bid that's it that's it for this haul 25 minutes i told you it was a big one anyway if you guys like this type of video please subscribe i'd love to have you as part of my youtube family getting closer to closer to 4,000 subscribers everyone i just can't even believe it you guys are the best have a great day and i'm going to talk to you again here really soon peace